near Ostrom's apartment and where he got caught. Police took him into custody at a stoplight at 72nd and Federal in Westminster in front of a different Walmart. Ostrom lives on Samuel Drive just off the Boulder Turnpike. That is where we find investigator Rick Salinger. Rick, I am curious, what have you learned about this suspect? Well, Dominic, we got a look inside his apartment here earlier today, and there we found a sweatshirt that linked us to his job, where we found out he suddenly left his work yesterday. His past, we learned, also includes a bankruptcy and a minor criminal record for resisting arrest. But the charges that he is facing now are much more serious following his capture. SWAT team members were preparing to enter the apartment where the suspect lives. Suddenly, a car matching the description of the wanted vehicle passed by. There, stuck in traffic at a red light, they found 47-year-old Scott Ostrom. He was taken into custody without incident. He lived here at the Samuel Park Apartments in Thornton. Several residents remarked that he expressed dislike for Hispanics right to their faces. Oh, this is America, you shouldn't be here, and you know, that's no way to treat people. It hurts. It really bothers me. It does. It's, it's been bothering me. Crime scene investigators searched Ostrom's third floor apartment. From a doorway, we could see a sweatshirt from the roofing company job that he walked out on yesterday. There was also a Bible, no bed, Possible evidence, including a rifle case, was taken from the apartment. Neighbors said Ostrom liked to hunt and was very rude. If he seen a Hispanic person, he would tell him to get out of his way. All three who died here had Hispanic names. But for now, while Ostrom is accused of the murders, no motive has been revealed. When CBS4 spoke to Ostrom's boss at the roofing company about the comments made here regarding Hispanics, that boss said that he had heard nothing like that there. Live in Thornton, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Dominic?